Welcome back to Mr. By How Much. This is the channel that tests hypothesis if certain changes were made, how games and seasons would differ, and if the hypothesis is proven or if it missed it by and by how much. We're currently doing the 1990 season. We're playing through it as the Dodger manager trying to gain five games on the Cincinnati Reds and win the Western Division. Today we're going to take a little detour though, and do a scouting report and an upcoming game that you see on the schedule here interests me. Randy Johnson, who pitched awesome so far in the season, is going to take on the best team in the league, the Boston Red Sox. So I'd like to just watch and follow along and see why the Red Sox are doing so well and if Randy Johnson can tame them in this game. The Red Sox have done well hitting and pitching, obviously, to get to a 16-3 and record. There you see their stats. They have eight players. Excuse me. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five players who can, who are hitting over 300 that play consistently. Uh, and runs created by 27 outs. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight players. 3.6 or higher. And I would guess that's the starting lineup. Um, Pitching-wise, they've also dominated, as you would expect, with a anchor or ace like Roger Clemens. Um, he does not lead in ERA. At least uh, he doesn't on a team. These are this is a position player, but in terms of starters. He's at a 2-0-4 ERA and has uh, won three of four decisions. Um, there you see the other starting pitchers. Excellent ERAs. Dennis Lamp has not started, so I don't count him. The, the worst starter in their rotation is Mike Bodiger, who will be pitching today. So we kind of stacked the deck, so to speak. Other than the fact the game's going to be played in Boston for the Seattle Mariners, who've also are off to a decent start. They're 10 and 10, third place in the Western Division of the American League. Um, they are led, obviously, by Randy Johnson, who is second overall in ERA, but first in the American League with a 0 0.84 ERA. Over 32 innings, and as you would expect, 30 strikeouts. And a whip, that's 1.113 for him, which is pretty good because he does walk quite a few. 18 walks and 18 hits in 32 and a third innings. So, uh, as we do with scouting reports, we will not play the game, we will just watch the game follow along, uh, remark about who plays well, who doesn't, um, see why the Red Sox are winning so many games, um, keep mental notes in case uh, the Dodgers do win the division and do play them in the playoffs, otherwise just enjoy a game where Two classic teams, and especially a, a Hall of Fame pitcher, is involved. We will change this to a human coach just to get us started. And then once the game gets ready to go, we'll put both teams as computer. Uh, I go to the play-by-play -play and make sure it's not on instant speed so it doesn't finish in a couple seconds versus just watching the game. There we go. And there's
Josh Fenway. Starting lineups. Uh, Wade Boggs hitting 423. Somehow hits in third. Now, personally, I would have him hitting leadoff, but the computer made the choice. This is not as played. We do not do as played. We're taking on the computer. We're trying to test the game engine. We're letting it choose. Els Burks hitting fifth at 380. I mean, just crazy numbers. Um, for Seattle, they Harold Reynolds hitting leadoff at a dollar forty-three. Uh, currently, I believe Ken Griffey Sr. is injured, so Junior's hitting third at two ninety-six. Um, it'll be interesting to see. If uh, Mike Bodiger, who uh, essentially has one really bad outing, can write in this game against Seattle, and also see if Randy Johnson can play up to start against this very formidable team team. So let's go to the video game. Old Reynolds starts off and grounds to Quintana. That looks like an error. Yep. He's on. That's Quintana's third of the year. Let's see if Reynolds runs. Throw over. That's where we're at the percentage chance. He's probably not going to pick your Martinez, who gets a base hit to left center. Brooks goes to cut it off, and the Mariners are in business early. The first half, Reynolds gets the third on the play. First and third, nobody out, and Junior's up. Boddicker in trouble already. Junior gets a base hit to left. Jody Reed playing short today. And it's one nothing Mariners. And the base hit, nobody out still. Boddicker hasn't gotten anybody. Here's Alvis Davis. He gets a base hit to left. I don't know if that's Jody Reed playing short or what's going on. Bases are loaded. Looks like Griffey's caught in a rundown. I think he thought Martinez was going to score, and he didn't. And did they get Junior at second? They do. So, runners at the corners on the base running here. And then Boddicker strikes out. The next batter. So, two on two out for Briley. He hits a ground ball to Kutcher. That should get him out of the inning. Boy, Boddicker. Gets out of the jam, only giving up one run. We'll see if that comes back to haunt the Mariners later in the game. Giles playing short for Greenwell. Looks like they'll get him at first. A great play. Gets the first out for Randy. Here's Jody Reed. He strikes out. That's the first of many, I would assume. Here's Boggs. 1-1 one, one pitch. Fly ball to right. Should be caught by Briley. And that'll do it. Through one, it's one nothing Mariners. You still can't help but think should have got more than one run out of that. Cotto leads off the second. He gets a base hit. Bodiger not fooling anybody right now. It's Jeffrey Leonard. It's the DH. Could be two. Hit to Reed. He's got it. Throw to Kutcher. There's one, but Leonard beats it out. Okay, it's so only one down. There's Bradley. He hits a ground ball to Kutcher. There's a second chance at a double play. This time the reverse. He throws to Reed, but Reed can't get Bradley, so that'll look the lineup. And with two outs, see if he can do anything. Throw. Bradley moves. Opportunity for Mariners to Reynolds, who got, who got on on an error this first time. And he gets a base hit this time. Here comes Bradley Burks with a low arm, a four. Reynolds will make it in a second with a double. It's two nothing Mariners. Here's Edgar Martinez. He gets another base hit to left. He's two for two. Is Reynolds going to try to score in Greenwell's five arm? He does. It's 3 nothing Mariners, and the Red Sox fans are stunned. Junior 
Hits one deep. Brunanski goes back. Farther back is it going to come down? It is. Brunanski. It's off the wall? It is off the wall. Martinez the third. Is he going to hold? Martinez is not known for his running ability. Griffey held to a single? Wow. Nice play by Brunanski. But, Martinez scores. So it's 4 nothing, And Davis strikes out to end the second. So, there's a base hit for Quintana. The Mariners couldn't score more than one in the first, inning, first half inning, but they do score three in the second. So they're up 4-0. Quintana is on for Burks. Ground ball. Let's see. Reynolds to Giles. Going to get the speedy Burks, though. They're going to try to throw to first. Double play. Two out. For Johnson. Here's Evans. He strikes him out. Strikeout number two. Through two, it's 4 nothing. Mariner. Boddicker gets his third K to start off the third. Here's Briley. That looks like a base hit. That's eight hits off Boddicker and two and a third. That is not a good start. Here comes Cotto. The first to throw over at Briley. Back. Yep. Not Probably not going here. Cotto strikes out. That's four for Boddicker. That'll bring up Leonard. He's... No, he walked. Okay. The 3-2 pitch. Runners at first and second, two outs for Bradley. The catcher is up. And he hits a ground ball to Quintana. He's had trouble, but he's got this one. Going to race the catcher to the bag. Three outs. So we're two and a half. Four nothing Mariners. Red Sox looking to get on the board here with Brunanski. It's a deep shot to left. Back goes Cotto. This off the wall. Is this a catch? He caught it. Got it on the track. Pena up next. Ground ball to Giles. He was it. Strong throw to Davis. It's on Pena. Straight out. That's three for Andy. That's a little low for him, but one ain't happening. So after. Th Reynolds with his third at bat of the game. Fly ball to Burks. Should have it. One out. Comes Martinez. He gets his third hit in the same spot almost in the left field. A one out single for Edgar. It's a poor play by Reed. Again, mostly known for playing second, not short. Here's Griffin Jr. There's a base hit for Jr. That's three hits. Martinez goes to second and holds. He does. Dave. Boddicker. It's a ground ball to Quintana. Let's see if they try to pull two here. He throws to Reed. See if he can make the transition. Nope. Davis beats it out. So runners at the corners with two out. For Giles. Fly ball to right. Brunanski barely shifting to his right. Should have this one. Easy. And Boddicker escapes the fourth with no runs. To the bottom of the fourth. Four nothing Mariners for Greenwell to start us off. Ground ball to Martinez. He's got it. Straightens up. Long throw across to Davis. One out. Jody Reed, trying to make up for his poor play, gets a base hit to left. Cotto throws it back in. See if he'll hold. Long turn around first, and he walks back. One out single for Box. 0 for 1. And he strikes out. Johnson's fourth strikeout. Two out for Quintana. And he gets a base hit, his second hit of the game. Over to Cotto. Let's see if Reed tries for third. I don't know. Cotto's forearm. He does. He gets it. First and third. Two out for Burks. Big opportunity here for the Red Sox to get back into the game. Fly ball to left. Cotto going back. Ball still elevating. Still elevating. 
This is either gone or off the wall, and it is gone. A three-run shot by Burks just makes it over the wall. It's 4-3, and this is how the Red Sox have won their game. They get down, but they, they're not out. A three-run shot for Burks. Big home run off Johnson. We're back to a ball game. 4-3 Mariners. Bases empty, 3-2 pitch to Evans. It looks like he walked him. But Johnson having some trouble this inning, giving up the three-run shot. Evans the tying run at first for Brunanski. He walks him. Two walks in a row for Johnson. For Pena. The 0-1 pitch is a ground ball to third. Edgar Martinez picks it up. Tries to go the short way to Reynolds. And they're out of the end. The three-run shot by Ellis Burks makes it a game, but it's still 4-3 Mariners to the fifth for Briley to start us off. Come back to Boddicker, who's now back into the game looking for a win. Long throw to Quintana, one down. Cotto, the left fielder up next. Ground ball back to Boddicker again. He'll take it himself. He doesn't trust Quintana with the air, and it's a doesn't get first in time as Cotto beats him. One out, infield scene for Leonard. Ground ball to Kutcher. Let's see if they can double play. To read for one. Back to first, and they're out of it. Boddicker through five. Four runs, 11 hits, but still in the game, 4-3. Mariners to the bottom of the Kutcher up. Help turn the double play. The 3-1 pitch is hit to Briley. And it's one down. Greenwell top of the lineup again for the Red Sox. For two, hit the ground ball into left field. Base hit, tying run is on. Cotto cuts it on. Oh, he's caught it. It wasn't a ground ball. Excuse me. Two out for Reed. And he lifts the fly ball. That's an easy play for Junior. Cruising in. Makes it look easy. We're through five. Four, three Mariner still have the lead. Boddicker still going now, after looking like he didn't have a chance early in this game. Gets a ground ball to Kutcher. Quintana. Bradley is out. That's the first out of the sixth. Versus Reynolds to the top of the lineup for the fourth time. And he gets a base hit. He's two for four. Greenwell moving. That's going to get past him all the way to the wall. And Reynolds can run. He's to second. And he holds. Lead a oh, one-out double for Reynolds. Here's Martinez. Three for three. Three singles, and he walks. Boddicker in a lot of trouble now. Here's Junior. 108 pitches. The pitch to Junior is a base hit into center field. Yes, it gets past both infielders. Burks up with it. Is Reynolds going to try to score on the forearm? He does. Martinez goes to third. Burks is just holding on to the ball. Finally gives it up to Reed. One out single makes it 5-3. That's Griffey Jr.'s fourth hit of the game. Alvin Davis up next. Boddicker pitches, and it's lined in the left, the right field, excuse me. That is another run. That should be it for Boddicker. That's six runs. He had recovered, but now has the team down six to three. He is out of the game. And a different Reed is in, not Jody Reed, to pitch. And he walks Giles. It's Jerry Reed, excuse me. One out, base is low to jam. Against Briley. Let's see if he can get out of it. Nope. Base hit into right field. And the odds of the Red Sox winning this game, if there was a little bar up in the corner, it's gone way down. Although Giles is going to get caught in a rundown here as Davis stopped at third. The second base running error that's cost them an out. Oh no, Giles gets back. Excuse me. Base is loaded again for Cotto. He hits a fly ball. To Greenwell. Davis, not a lot of speed. Is he going to tag up and try to score with one out? Caught by Greenwell. Davis goes back. Tag. And he'll score. It's 8-3 to three Mariners. And in this inning, they've blown the game back up four. Excuse me. Four runs in this inning. 8-3. to three. And Reed is not providing any relief for the Red Sox as he walks to Leonard. Bradley is up. Loaded again. And the ball gets... Ninth run scores. Now it's become a laugher.
So Boddicker went strong the second half of his outing, but stayed in a little too long. And reason I is Bradley hits a fly ball to center. Burks will have it, but that damage is done. It's 9-3 Mariners to the bottom of the sixth. Only a huge rally is going to save the Red Sox here. And you still fa you're still facing Randy Johnson as he strikes out Wade Boggs for the second time. Pana gets struck out as well. Six strikeouts for Johnson. Here's Burks. Almost a good morning, good afternoon, good night. We stay with the good afternoon as he walks Burks. Here's Evans with one runner on. And he gets a liner. That looks like that's going to get over Giles and be a base hit. It does. See if Burks holds it second. Apparently a poor play by Cotto as Burks makes it the third. Okay, Red Sox need to chip away. Runners on the corners. Two out for Brunanski, who's his power. And Johnson strikes him out. We're through six. Nine, three Mariners. Harold Reynolds, for the fifth time today, takes the plate and hits a liner. Back goes Burks. And he's got it. Great catch. One out for Martinez, looking for his fourth hit, like Junior, but Jody Reed's got this one. Two down. Irvine now pitching. Worked Griff, looking for his fifth hit, and he got it. Ken Griffey Jr. with his fifth hit today. Didn't expect that. Five hits for the great center fielder. Future Hall of Famer, he's at first. With two outs, here's Davis. He hits one deep to right. Brunanski looks back. Is it going to come down? It's going to come down, but it's off the wall. Junior, who can run? Is he going to score? Yeah, easily. On the double by Davis, it's 10-3. to Mariners. Here's Giles. He walks. Runners at first and second. Two out. Top of the seventh. New pitcher Murphy comes in, the left-hander against Briley. And it's a pop-up. See if that gets to the outfield. Jody Reed calling and short left. He's got it. Mariners tack on another run. They have 17 hits in this game and go to the bottom of the seventh. 10-3. Pena's up first and has a ground ball to Davis. So the question is now, how long is Randy going to go? He can get 135 pitches. He's just over 100. Two, he strikes out pitcher for his eighth strikeout. Here's Greenwell. Top of the order for fourth time for the Red Sox. And there's a base hit in the left. Greenwell hold. Looks like. Long turn. No oh, base hit. Two outs for Jody Reed. And he gets punched out by Johnson. His ninth K. To the eighth. Hotto looking for his third hit. It looks like he's got it in the left field. It's almost as if the Mariners batters are aiming for left field. Doesn't matter the pitcher. Cotto on. No, he's going for two. Here comes the throw by Greenwell, and he is safe. His first double of the season. Nobody out. Here's Leonard. He hits a liner into right. The Red Sox. Not only did Boddicker pitch poorly, but the bullpen has been terrible as well. Cotto holding with a seven-run lead. There's no reason to risk it at the plate for Bradley. Ground ball to Quintana. Over to second. That'll get the first out, but they don't get the return throw. And you know who's coming up and is going to get a chance is Griffey is going to have an opportunity for a six-hit game. But first, we have two batters in front of him, Reynolds. Harold's up there. He's got two hits. It's a ground ball. It's a second great play by Kutcher. Let's see if they can pull off the double play. The pivot by Reed? No. Martinez looking for his fourth hit. Edgar up there. With a chance for it here against Murphy. The pitch. Fly ball to left. Still arcing up. But it's off the wall. Four hits for Edgar. 
Greenwell going back. And he's got it. To the bottom of the eighth, 11 to 3 Mariners. There's somebody that can't keep up. Wade Boggs gets on base for the first time today by walk. Johnson's still out there, 122 pitches. Versus Kidna. My ball to center. Griffey just glides on in. One hands it. One out. Boggs heading back to first. And holds. Burks with the three run shot. Most the only offense for Boston, pretty much. The fly ball to center. Griffey this time kind of back trots to his right and gets it with one hand. If he could catch it with one finger, he probably could. Or he would. Two down. Just looks effortless out there. Here's Evans. Got to the runner on first. He gets a fly ball to left. Arcing up. But it's a pop up there. Giles has got it. Looks like. We'll do the Red Sox in the box. There's not going to be a comeback. If there is going to be a comeback, it'll be in the night. Here's Griffey. Five for five. Hits a fly ball to Burks. Should be caught. And is. So Junior will have to settle for six today. Three RBI. Two runs score. Here's Dave. One out. He walks. He's on, been on base four times. Three for five. And Giles up next. A ball to right. Back goes Brunanski. Away oh, back as the ball just keeps on going. And this one is barely contained. Stadium as they're just pouring it on. This one is beyond a laugher. 13 to 3, the Mariners lead. And the only question is now how much longer do you really want Randy Johnson to pitch? He's gone over. There's 20 hits for Seattle in the game. Wow. Riley strikes out, just <laughs> emphasize the point. There's Cotto. He's looking for a fourth hit. He won't get it. Fly ball, pop up. Looks like Boggs along the third base line. Takes it in. To the bottom of the ninth. 13 to 3. Johnson's still pitching. And he walks Bernanski. Here's a liner to Martinez. That's caught. Goes back to try to get Brun or, yeah, try to get Brunanski at first. Did they get him? No. One out. For pitcher. And he came. It's 10. 10 for Randy Johnson. 10th strikeout of the game. Dominating this well versed in hitting Red Sox team as his own team shows off their hitting shoes. And that's it. 11 strikeouts. Only three runs given up. The three run shot by Ellis Burke. Seattle dominates the number one team in the league, the Boston Red Sox, in their home park. Great job. Kudos all around. Although not a close game, very entertaining game. 13 runs, 20 hits for Seattle. The Red Sox, minus the three-run shot by Burks, not the traditional offense you're used to seeing from this Red Sox team. Look at this lineup. Only one player, the catcher, Bradley, did not get a hit. He had enough opportunities to. Look at that. Five hits from Junior Griffey. Three hits from Alvin Davis. Three hits from Edgar Martinez. Three hits from Cotto. Key, though, is beyond the hitting, Randy Johnson pitched excellently. Complete game, seven hits, three runs, four walks, 11 Ks. Had plus stuff. Right? Actually had 140 pitches in him. He threw 159. You're not going to see that in today's game. For the Red Sox, Mike Boddicker, lowest of the starters, uh, had pitched well in the last two games, but today just takes it on the chin. Had come back after the first two innings, but in the sixth, 
If Seattle Mariners put up a five spot and bounce him, gives up a total of 14 hits, seven earned runs, two walks, four Ks, bumps his ERA up to 635. Not well. And then the also to be fair, the the bullpen did not do well giving up five runs also in the remain of the game. Great plays by Giles and Kutcher. Poor plays by Cotto and Jody Ray. Obviously, the MVP is King Griffey Jr., although slight nod to Randy Johnson and an excellent pitching performance. Gave up more runs than he's used to, and his ERA, brace for it, is up to 1.31. So, he'll have to cry about that later with plus stuff. Thanks for watching today. I enjoyed watching along with you. We'll be back to the Dodgers next time on Missed It by How Much.